Hello and welcome to the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe version. So, um, some quick context. I know basically the bare minimum about this game. I know it got big a long while back and then they recently released um, the Ultra Deluxe version which I understand has a whole bunch of new content. Um, yeah, I know practically nothing about this game other than uh, Stanley, possibly a pear and a bull. I don't know. But anyways, um, I did a quick little kind of run through just to make sure that it worked. So I'm, I'm familiar with like the first like minute of the game. Um, but let's just hop into it. So all I know is I'm Stanley and uh, I work. And that's this all there is, is to know about Stanley. Oh, named Stanley. Here it is. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling you him just what described to me. push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul lifting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Nice! Now let's ruin it. And that. then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. <laughs> All right, there we go. Very cool. All right, so um, as you can see, booted back in. So this is about where I left off. I walked into this next room, and now you guys are caught All up with me. All workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he oh. had simply missed a memo. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, oh, oh. Stanley went Weed. around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance <laughs> the story in any way. I love way. lasagna. <laughs> Very cool. All right. I'm just walking through this hallway. I don't know. Am I supposed to be, like, interacting with things? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I sure didn't. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, Damn. and Stanley knew it perfectly <laughs> well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. That that was it. That was my plan all along. To admire the lounge. Ah, yes. And what a truly lounge a it room is. Worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully Number constructed room. Stanley simply stood here. Drinking it all in. Who farted? Okay. Number or what does that say? Something about mom? I don't know. Can we yes. get something to drink? What do they got? Really, really worth it being here in the room. It is. A room so utterly captivating that even though all got any your cash? co-workers have mysteriously vanished, oh, here and a you note. sit looking at Someone's these chairs notice? and some paintings. Really worth it. Is there like a... Oh, right click is also walk forward. That's incredibly strange. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy. <laughs> okay, and let's calm down. Poorly on his overall personality. All right, okay. It's possible. If you're gonna be like that, I'm done listening. At last, he'd had enough of the amazing room. Yep. Took the first open door on his left to get back to business. I did not. It, it is I, Stanley. Stanley was so bad at following directions. Do it's not lie. He was right years now. Ago. Stop. <laughs> Okay, mom. Sorry. 
Uh, let's see. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift is a thousand. Penalty for jumping. I think the penalty is much larger than that. Personally, I think uh, I think it's definitely much more. Looks down. So therefore, we're gonna do it. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Thank you. All right. Well, okay. And we're back at the lift. So this time we're gonna take it all the way Look, over. Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Yep. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. Okay. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult. Okay. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing I so badly but you jump. all this time. I feel like I could There's make someone it. you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. I so Please, badly want to go there. Stop right. trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Who's... This is it, Stan. Who's her? Your chance to redeem yourself. Okay. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. What are you She's on? She's been waiting. Who? That just scares me. Can I go through this door? Nope. Okay. I thought that was a snake for some reason. I'm like, did this just turn horror game? That room is pitch black. Hi. Oh! That's her, Stanley. Oh. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. I don't want to. Honestly, this is scary. I uh, dude, I'm terrified of commitment. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? I might have. No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually <laughs> chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. Okay. Sorry. No. It's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? I don't know, None man. None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? If it makes you feel better, You're I'm sorry. You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able this to make correct and incorrect meta. choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any Please more wrong me. choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment. Whoa, 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 so hey, no, 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 no. you properly on safe decision making in the real no, world. No, 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 no. Please observe this helpful instructional video. No, no. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. Fuck you, Rupert. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. <laughs> Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. We cannot if you find it. yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue <laughs> talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed Excellent. to be... What the Making fuck? Choices on a regular basis you didn't give me enough time. Do a healthy decision-making process. 
Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test Field and trip. reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. What the? You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Uh -oh. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit the choice you made maker. just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Okay. Uh, all right. Show me some of that good decision making. Am I supposed to go on the lift again? Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't <laughs> be jumping off the platform and dying. <laughs> Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That, that definitely story never happened. No sense at all. So therefore, we're gonna do it. We've gotten all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. All right. Oh, is there? There's a little gap. They left. Oh. <laughs> well. Do you mind if I go through this door? They do mind if I go through that door. They're sending me all the way back. Well. We're back in the break room again. What a wonderful Almost room. there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending. You the got story it. will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. I, I'm fine. I need content. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. Right. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. You got I'm it. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Okay. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> no! You, you Why did you do that? <laughs> Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. <clears throat> Stanley took the door on the left. Okay, this time they actually, I think I have to go to the one on the, on the left. All right, fine. Excellent. One moment. And we're back. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! I'm... Why? For what? What did you get out of that? It was funny. What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? It was... Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. I... Oh! <laughs> no! Oh my goodness. Oh, just like that we can work to Portal 2. I'm, I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. Okay. You. Okay. Who thought you were so clever. I'm sorry. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you've run it into the ground. What? Did you think that would be funny? <laughs> yeah. You just had to see? Yeah. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? I don't know, he maybe Stanley's an asshole. Do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred Stanley. to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? 
You're a child. I'm not. I'm a grown man. Oh. My story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It oh. would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I'm I sorry. tried so hard to make... ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. Story I'm first. quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Okay. Right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Guys. Come on now. He opened the right door again. <laughs> no. Why did you do that? Oh, no. Quickly. Is it going to be exactly the... Behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll right to the top. Right Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I did not. Oh my goodness, this time he's not even getting angry. I think at this time. No! He's... Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Okay, okay, all right, fine. This time we're going to the left. Exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the Imagine story Imagine not first. knowing your left and I'm right. I'm quite sure you'll and be up to the task. Game. Just and, follow my uh, lead and you'll you know be it, fine. Before you know it, the game's screaming right. at you because you <clears throat> When Stanley came to a up. set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. You got it. Sorry. <laughs> Please stop yelling at me. Yet okay. There was not a single person here either. Oh. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Tomorrow. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I'm trying to read. Okay. Complete today's unfinished agenda items. Write next day's agenda. Reflect. Okay. Targets. Push for funding for R&D of new coffee machine. Get Chris out of the broom closet. All right. Who moved my desk? All right. So, side quest. Get Chris out of the break room closet. Or the break closet. Um, Jim. <laughs> All right. Everyone is unique. No, I'm Stanley. Supposedly. The broom closet. Are you in there, Chris? Or Jake? Whatever your name was. I don't know. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. I'm Stanley, and this is my boss's office, I'm guessing. All right, tried to break the game again. Yep, close the door. All right. Let's play around on the computer. Dang. They're really just pushing pushing the plot along. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked? Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the boss. door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. <laughs> and beyond all probability, <laughs> all right. he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up. But now, he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. Courage! He drew a sharp breath, and then spoke the code. <clears throat> Open sesame! Okay, that didn't work. One, two, five, <clears throat> Night Shark. Stanley spoke right. the code. That's uh, one, one, five. Night Shark, one, one, five. He spoke it into the receiver. Right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. It did not work. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak I'm, the code. I'm trying! Receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Am I missing something? Is there supposed to be a. <laughs> is it supposed to have my. My mic? Uh, Night Shark 115. Open okay, Sesame. Fine, you're not gonna do it, but you know what? 
It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. I am Stanley. He knows what it means to take a I, story me. seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted I, over there. I did! Why did you come this way? You made me Speak. go this way! Say something to me! Explain you yourself, made me. you coward! You, you made me! <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two of God doors, damn it! He entered the door on his left. <laughs> Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? <laughs> Stanley, please. I I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Is that the end? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Developed by Crows, Stanley, Crows, this Crows. Is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. <laughs> do something. Anything. Oh, this, this poor man. I've really ruined his entire world. I I've ruined this. everything. The story needs him. He's probably going to get divorced when he gets home, mm -hmm. too. This is rough. Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. I'm so sorry. You need time to decide. Time I'm sorry. To make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right Sorry, thing Leroy. Take as much time as you need. Oh. <laughs> you actually got me feeling a little bad. All right, let's um We'll call that episode one. Stanley decided to go okay. to the meeting. I ultimately Perhaps decided a memo. that we are going to get one more uh, ending for this episode. We're going to, um, especially because I'm really curious. I was going to stop recording and start. When Stanley quick, came to a set of two open doors. This was not I remember I was super room, tempted and to Stanley jump off the lift well. um, onto the Perhaps platform. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee and I lounge see what first, happens. just to admire it. So we're going to speed was run sublime. through this. A work of art, but eager to get back to oh, the Stanley go to the took left the door. first open door on his left. Okay, well, we're not doing that yet. There's so much. There's so many diverging paths. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible this, he wasn't the, five the walkway. years ago. Look, Stanley, I'm I think perhaps we've right gotten off on the there. wrong foot Jump here. down, walk through that I'm door. not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but I could the also fact is the that the story has been There's about so nothing but much. you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone right, you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero <laughs> consideration for others? Changing Are you everywhere. that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yeah, possibly, well, I, maybe. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now, listen carefully. This is important. Okay. Stanley walked through the red door. The, you know what? This time... I went through the blue door. <laughs> uh -huh. okay. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. That's what I said. The blue door. We got it that time, guys. I still don't think we're communicating <laughs> properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Blue door? All right, fine. Go ahead, <laughs> Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Oh, well, goodness. don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. Oh. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Yeah, it's Was it worth cool. ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? For me? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. 
Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. Okay. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. I love it. Third ahead, option. Stanley. Take it for a spin. I'm in. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Uh, yeah, no, super. Yeah, absolutely. Give me more Aha. choices. You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come Truly from? A, um, How did I know the game time. needed a third door? You, yeah. Well... It's instinct mostly, a calling. All good guy. things come in threes. I really couldn't say where the Pokemon? idea came from, except that I, uh, I felt it in my soul. Good trilogies. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even Balls? try. Here, right. based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Oh, the Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. I better be on the top. Damn it! Good old Neil. He takes number one. Where am I? Okay, I don't like how far down I am. S yeah, let's go! It's Stanley! You are... Okay, I'm last place. It's like playing the finals. Oh, I dated that. Going back in the third option three. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard <laughs> helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. No, it made me feel terrible. Hey, it's I like nearly forgot. Funnels. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a the lovely Stanley opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot I it up. I didn't answer. Okay. In this game, <laughs> the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right. You and got if he it. reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four, four hours. hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Sure. Be sure to keep notes on your experience. All right. See ya. You heartless <laughs> bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? A little bit of both. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. <laughs> okay. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Okay. Please the pay. TF2? Let's see. What do we have here? <clears throat> Something along those lines? Oh, yes. One moment. This Sorry about that. I uh, had to take a phone call real quick. Let's get right back into it. Seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Oh, we're playing a different game now, apparently, from <laughs> what I remember. Uh -huh. Is this Firewatch? Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower, perhaps for some sort of tower. twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Okay. <laughs> I want to go back to the Stanley <laughs> Parable. Oh, went the wrong way. Of course I did. Now I gotta walk all the way around. Got get caught on the corner. All right, there we go. Okay, I really want to go back no, to the no, Stanley no. Parable now. No, 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 it can't be. What? What can't be? Hey, look, a sign. It is. It's an open world game. Open Good world. Good God! Quickly, block it off. Ju oh. Thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You really wandered off into that 
that thing, that big open just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any... Yeah. Ooh. Oh, thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stan. Is that a crack in the open okay. world? I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Let me get something in the crack. with nice, big, insurmountable walls. Ah. <laughs> okay. I think this will be just the Gotta thing. Gotta find where it's least integral. Oh. Rocket League? What the f- Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, <laughs> if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Okay. I am incredibly... <laughs> Okay, so what exactly do we do? Kid, do I at least get the car in the ball? Can I please get can I borrow the ball? Back, but obviously, at there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, it is sports I think ball. It's sports ball. Oh, what fun! We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Let's go. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. I get a ball. Yeah. Oh, I'm speeding up. Yeah! This is gameplay! Oh, oh no! What are you doing? <laughs> oh my goodness! Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. We're good. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. Oh, man, we fell again. Okay. Don't tell me it gets scary, please. I've had enough enough spooky games. I got my fill with uh that game I just played. <laughs> Fears to fathom, that's right. By the way, check those out. We have a good time. Oh, it's like an absolutely decimated version. I want to go back to my office now. Wait. I'm looking at something in there. I want to go back to my office. Oh. It's like where the mastermind is located. Okay, well, I guess we're heading back. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. I, I Someone need you. who will wrap everything up at the end. To make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. I'm sorry. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I'm sorry. I can wait. Is it... Okay. <laughs> Was that another ending? All of his co-workers It were was. Gone. Okay. It so that's going to be episode 1 Stanley of the Stanley Parable. The Shut up. This is going to be episode 1 of the Stanley Parable Deluxe Edition. Please join us for the next episode when I unlock a couple more, a few more endings. Maybe next time we'll try to listen to what the guy says. Anyways, thank you for joining me. I have been Bald Tyler. See ya!